Hello everyone, welcome back to a tech tip here at 45 Drives. Brett Kelly here today and we are going to talk about Houston, baby. Uh, we got a lot of new updates coming out very soon in the coming weeks. Uh, a bunch of new modules and uh, we teased some of them not long ago. We showed you some of the interworkings and everything like that. We've built a couple more since then. Anyway, the wait is finally over. They're all currently on our testing repo, but we're about to release to everyone. And what we wanted to talk to you today is what they are, quick look at each of them, where you can get them, and then we're gonna have a quick talk about where we're going next with Houston, the operating system support and everything like that. So let's get into it. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive into these new Houston modules. I got five of them to show to you. After that, we'll have a quick chat about where you can get them and when you can get them. And then join me after the conclusion, we're gonna talk about what's next, what's coming next for Houston, what's coming next for operating system support. So, let's get started. Okay, so let's dive into the first module. Some people have seen this already, if you've seen our other videos, but it's the 45 Drive ZFS. The ZFS module is a uh, upgrade of our past one that we, uh, that we were shipping before, great module before, but even better now. Uh, the focus is around using ZFS 2.0 features and everything that comes with that. So you can see your pools, your file system, snapshots, everything like that. Um, we've got a dark mode, a light mode, everything you'd ever need to see. Um, so ZFS, that's the first on the list. All right, next up is our task scheduler. Um, again, like the ZFS one, we teased this one a bit ago. Uh, this is the module for automated tasks on your storage system. Um, what is an automated task in this case, you say? Well, right now we've got ZFS replication, automated ZFS snapshots, R-Sync, Scrubs, Smart Tests. We're adding Cloud Sync so you can send it to your, um, uh, your favorite cloud provider. And the idea of this is this will be the home of anything that you want to automate, but you don't want to dive into the command line for. Um, really excited about this one, close that one. Here's one I have running already. Gives you a quick status of that it's running, that it is scheduled when it ran last. If you want to view some details, manage the schedule, it's all through here. Remember, my favorite part of this, if anyone's done a cron job before or anything like this, and you got to scratch your head and try to remember what all the like zero hour, zero minute, scrambles my brain a little bit, but we give you a little text, a little summary at the end to give you a clear indication of what's going on there. It's really, really awesome. We are proud of this one, and a shout out to Mr. Kehoe, one of our talented design engineers who built this one. So, scheduler, excited to have that one come out too. All right, the next module that we're gonna have out here is a request that came from our customers and all from our service department as well, uh, a clean and easy way to join an Active Directory. Now, fans of Cockpit might say, Oh, that functionality is already there. Yeah, but it's a little limiting on the way that you can do it. It's, it's, you know, in open source, there's a couple different ways you can join and you can do a bunch of stuff. The choices they've made, solid, sane, and they work well. But they don't always mesh that well with a Samba server and to get proper Windows file sharing link up to a Windows Active Directory. So we've built a module that uh, is powered by some Ansible playbooks behind the scenes to allow you to easily join and leave domains on your storage pool. And the last module that we want to show you, well, maybe upgrade to a module because you've seen it before, um, is uh, we've finally brought iSCSI management into the Houston UI. No more command line setting up of that. Uh, big request by our customers, our service team, and everyone like that. And uh, iSCSI, really excited to have that in. Um, we are using the SCST uh, method of iSCSI with Linux um, after a long period of trying out different methods. This is the most stable, reliable, and works the best with um, third-party applications, VMware, ESXi, if I'm gonna be honest. Uh, and uh, really, really excited to have this one come out. Um, finally, the last module, I'll just talk about it. Uh, we have some general upgrades to our 45 drives hardware packages. What that means is we have a new generation of motherboards uh, coming, um, latest gen, AMD, Intel, PCI 5, and uh, a new motherboard manufacturer we began working with. So we've upgraded all our hardware, manuf our hardware modules to work with those. But that's a different video, so stay tuned for that one. We've got a lot to say about that. So with all that said, 
Those are the big new releases of the Houston modules. Like we said, we do want to maintain a rolling release of these as much as possible. So these ones will be coming soon. When and where? Um, they're all on our testing repository right now. If you go to repo.45drives.com, you can, you can get the setup scripts in there. If you enable the testing repo, you can find all these modules. All right, so what's next with Houston and the just general software support here at 45 Drives? You're gonna see these coming out very soon and we're gonna have a big push on Houston and the kind of, if you will, the decommissioning of other dashboards and the all-in-one joining into Houston. We wanna make the experience as seamless as possible for everyone. We've heard from people, we've heard from our creator friends, we've heard from our customers, we've heard from our um, peers in the open source community who use our modules of what could make things easier and where we need to go and having everything in one clean all-in-one screen is what we want to strive for. We want the Houston UI to be right up there with, with some of the other big names in the game and uh, we're committed to doing that. And on top of that, another big question that gets asked all the time and we're very excited to tell you, we will be bringing support for the later generation, or sorry, the later versions of the operating system. So Rocky 9 support, Ubuntu 22 support, will be coming in by the end of October. Um, we are really excited to have that come out and that means everything. Seth, ZFS, Houston, boom. We will still be supporting L8 and 20 because we know a lot of people still like Ubu 20 because a lot of people still like to use that. But we'll be jumping on the new operating system game. You can expect that by the end of October of this year. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Really excited to get all this stuff in your hands and stay tuned, you will be bothered when these are out. No, I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, you will be notified.